everyone, it's Deborah from DeborahJackson.com.au, the home of love marketing, love business and love your life. As most business owners are aware, the way we are doing business today is vastly different to say only four years ago. Competition is fierce, the economy is tough and we are constantly bombarded with information and choices every day. Our competitors are no longer just in our own backyard, they are now worldwide. Your ability to stand out, connect with others and position yourself as the expert industry means security. So how do we as small business owners stand out and get notice? I've invited Jane Anderson, personal branding expert, who has just written her new book, Impact, How to Build Your Personal Brand in Connection Economy, to explain how we can position ourselves to stay ahead of the pack. Welcome, Jane. Thanks, Deborah. <laughs> um, impact. Um, what gave, it's a fantastic title. What gave you the inspiration for it? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, when we look at business today, like you said, it's so hard to stand out. Mm -hmm. And I think what I've been really passionate about is helping people have impact so that they can connect, mm -hmm. inspire and engage their clients or their audiences. And I think what I've really seen is a shift in people, particularly solopreneurs, startups or consultants who we've come through this phase of really high unemployment and people have been forced to set up their own businesses. And your personal brand is the best way to do that. Mm, very good, very good. So how long have you been in business now for? I've been in business for six years. And has it always been smooth sailing? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share? <laughs> I'll be the first to admit. Yeah, well, I have two businesses mm -hmm. as a result. Fantastic. So I have a training and coaching business called Inside Out Training and Coaching. Right. And I've had that since I started. Yep. But of course, in Queensland, we have pretty um, diabolical <laughs> type um, government and yes. changes to government, which affects business and business confidence. And so my experience was that I had to step out from behind my business mm. name and I was scared to death of doing that mm. because you think, oh, you know, I don't know if I want to put myself out there and what will people think of me? Mm. And, and so I had the fears that I see in other people that mm. it's too scary to put yourself and your name and your face out there. The reality is, is we've all got something that we need to help other people with mm. and people connect and buy from people. They do, they do mm. indeed. You know, it's it's not companies that buy, it's the people inside those companies Absolutely. that buy. So with your experience yeah. about getting out and getting known mm. to build your business, is that where the inspiration for the book came from? Absolutely. The challenges that you faced? Yeah, myself from mm. my own experience mm. and then also, so my background was working in career management, leadership development, and then I started to get a lot of people coming to me going, how do I set up a business like yours? But I was also seeing people who had been made redundant mm, and setting yes. up their consulting businesses yes. um, and their own solopreneur startup. That's the way of the future, isn't it? Well, by 2020, the research tells us by 2020, 50% of the workforce will be self-employed. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm. So, and... and when it comes to setting up your business, I mean, do you want to share with us a few of the, the strategies that you use that attract clients? Yeah, absolutely. And they're no secret. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I blog and write about them. Mm -hmm. And um, big thing is thought leadership, mm -hmm. your original thoughts. What is it that you have your expertise in mm -hmm. that you can solve people's problems? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the big one. And that turns up in things like videos, like mm. blogs, like uh, LinkedIn posts, like whatever, mm. whatever medium, newsletters. Mm. Um, the big thing is building a tribe, people who get you, mm. who trust and like you mm. and helping them solve their problems. And that's through your original thought leadership. Do you find that people, you know, when it comes to they've just left a corporate mm. and they're thinking, all right, well, what am I going to do now? And what am I put on this earth to do? Because for the last 20 yeah. years, I've been spending time doing, um, you know, working for the man. Yes. And now all of a sudden I've got to go out on my on my own. Do you find that Australians still have that little bit of tall poppy syndrome? Oh, absolutely. Mm. You know, and I think we have this fear in Australia that if I put myself out there, I'm saying, Look at me, look at me, I, look at me. I, I'm so good or, <laughs> yeah. you know, or I'm trying to blow my own trumpet. Mm. And I think that Australian side of us holds us back. Mm. I think that we're scared to stand out and say, here's what I can do and here's how I can help. It's um, more as, 
I, we do. There yeah. are people, that's why I say to clients, there's someone out there trying to find you right now. Mm, mm. We're just going to make it really easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Get out there. Share your yeah. knowledge. Share your experience. You were put here on earth to do something. Absolutely. So get out and let go. Yeah. What, um, what are some of the lessons that you've learned um, while running your, bu your business that would help clients, to t you know, your clients today understand what they have to do first or second or third in, in, in business? So okay. what are some of those lessons that you've learned? Okay, great question. Big lessons learned. Get out and speak. Yes. <laughs> Talk to people. <laughs> Even if you're like this. Absolutely. Around, yes. You know, if you need someone to work with you to mm. practice and, and – but get out and talk to people mm. and in front of groups. Mm. The more that you can speak and mm. talk um, about how you help people is a big one. Write your blogs, mm. um, keep your social media up mm. um, and your thought leadership and how you help people. Mm. Don't be afraid to step out from your comfort zone because while you stay in it, nothing's going to happen. I remember my father once saying to me, nobody's going to come to your front door and knock on it and say, we need somebody like you. Exactly. He was so right. <laughs> so you've got to get out there and get known, guys. Yeah. Get known. Jane, thank you so much for being with us today. I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment now. Also, if you have a burning question or would like more information about a subject matter, then send your request in. If you like this video, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you found value, of course, share it with all your friends. If you want even more fantastic marketing information to create the business you love, then sign up for my email updates over at deborahjackson.com.au. Remember, live the life you want and follow your dreams. And I'll see you next time on Deborah TV. Bye for now.